And next week, I'm going to show you how to wash your ass. <sighs> so, uh, he like, so you, you suck dick. And I'm like, what? He was like, nah, I don't believe it, man. I, I, I can't believe you do that. And I'm like, I mean, what else is there for two niggas to do? He was like, uh, you be getting stuck too? And I'm like, nah, I don't be doing all that. He was like, but you suck dick. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, what? Nah, I don't believe it. So... Then he said, so if I pulled out my dick right now, you'll suck it. <sighs> Yo, this is about to be a story time because this is one of the craziest, craziest things that ever happened to me. <laughs> it was just a regular day. It was just a regular day. So, I've had my days of DL and being DL and my DL experiences. Um, like some of y'all may know, growing up in Cleveland, I was heavy on the rap scene. You know, that's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to be. I mean, at the time, rapping got me a lot of attention from my family, from people in the neighborhood, from and it, it distracted everybody from anything else that I might have thought they might have been thinking, you know. Um, so I was heavy in it. Uh, yeah, one of my homeboys used to uh, come over, smoke with me, and I would play my demos for him. I mean, he would always come through and be like, let me hear what you're working on. You know, he lived in the neighborhood around the corner, and we was cool, like real cool. You know, he would come over every day, if not every other day. We'd go in my room and close the door, and I would just play him songs over and over. He would tell me which ones was fire, which ones he was feeling. You know, he was always, you know, inspiring me, like, man, you gonna blow, like, you fired, like, you know. We'd smoke, drink in the bedroom for hours, just talking. Sometimes just chilling, listening to music. Um, on this particular day, we talking and, you know, the conversation always somehow get around to, you know, girls and who we messing around with. Now, I was DL, but... I never wanted to really be a fake person, even though I was hiding so much of myself. It was only a certain extent that I would go. Like, I wouldn't lie and talk about how many girls that I wasn't hitting and act like, you know, I'm just out here, you know, taking them down. You know, so a lot of times when they would talk about that, I would just let them tell their stories. And I'd just add my commentary like, man, you crazy. Or for real, I asked them questions. But I never really added, oh yeah, I'm, you know, hitting this chick around the corner. Yeah, man, I just banged out three last night, you know. That was just too much. I just felt like that's just too manipulative and just, just lying, you know. So he started asking me about girls that I'm seeing. I'm like, man, I don't, I be, I'm focused on this music thing. You know, he likes, man, so what? You could still be having hoes and this and that. I was like, man, honestly, when I blow up, badder bitches gonna come. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm waiting for that. And he like, okay. 
I could tell by the way he was asking me questions, he was getting to something because he wouldn't let up. He just kept on asking me and just, you know, uh, I don't know if it was in his mind that, yo, maybe this dude mess around or, you know, he was trying to see it. I don't know. But after, you know, finishing a couple blunts and, and drinking, I felt like maybe I'd tell him, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we cool enough that if I was honest with him, he'd still be my friend. So he kept on asking me questions and I was like, man, for real, like I don't even be messing with these girls like that. And he like, what you mean? I'm like, I like niggas. I said it like that. I mean, it got to the point to where I just had to be bold about it. And I had to be strong and I didn't want to seem weak. So I just came out and said, I like niggas. He was like, you like dudes. And I'm like, yeah. He like, nah, I don't believe it. You? And I'm like, yeah. He like, no, nah, you lying. And I'm like, no, I'm not lying, bro. Like, I'm telling the truth. He like, nah, I don't believe you. You lying. So it was like, I was like, you know, if you don't believe me, then I don't know why I would lie and say I like dudes. For what? What would that gain? You know, What's that gonna do? He was like, so you suck dick. And I was like, I mean, yeah, I mean, if I get into the situation to where, you know, stuff is going there, yeah. He was like, nah. I was like, yeah. He was like, so you just, and I'm like, man, like, what you asking all these questions for? He like, I'm just trying to see. Like, and he was like, I don't believe you. And I'm like, well, you know, he asked me if I get stuck, for lack of better words, you know, and I was like, nah, you know, I don't be doing all that. Um, he was like, but you a suck a dick. And I was like, I mean, I ain't nigga, I'm not going to suck anybody, you know, uh, pickle, you know, but I mean, if, uh, if I'm feeling it, yeah, he was like, I don't believe you. And I was like, I don't know what to tell you then, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't told you, you know, what it is, and you don't believe me. So he say, you know, so if I pulled out my dick right now, you'll suck it. And I was like, bro, you tripping. He was like, nah, I just want to know. I was like, I mean, is that what you want to do? He was like, nah, I just don't believe you would do it. And I was like, well, I mean, I don't know, no. And he was like, so you want to do it? And I was like, man, you tripping. You know what I'm saying? He like, I mean, just tell me, be honest. And I was like, if that's what you want to do. And he was like, I mean, let's do it. So I was like, you serious? He was like, yeah. So I'm like, so I was sitting across from him over by my, you know, tape player. You know, we had a tape player back then playing the tapes and stuff. He was laying on my bed. So I go over there to him reluctantly. Slowly, my heart starting to beat fast. And I just don't know what's going on. But I was taking advantage of the moment. Like, it was a regular day. I didn't expect this to happen. But it was just like, let's go. So I walk over to him, I get on the bed and uh, he laying back like this. And I started unbuckling his pants and his belt was so tight, it was like hard for me to unbuckle. So he was like, I do it. So he did it himself, unbuckled his pants and pulled them down. And I mean, when he pulled his pants down, I mean, he was already at attention. You know, uh, I was like, wow, now this dude, man, he was very attractive, you know, about six feet, brown skin, uh, nice dresser. I mean, he always had to fly his clothes, to fly his shoes, just sexy, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, when he pulled on his pants, he was already aroused and turned on so I knew he was really with it so you know I do 
my thing, you know what I'm saying? And it lasted for about maybe five minutes. You know, I could tell he was enjoying it. He was very quiet the whole time. And, you know, he uh, came pretty quick. So I guess he enjoyed it, you know, like afterwards, it was very awkward. He pulled up his pants and, you know, I ain't know if we should go back to the music or roll another blunt or whatever, you know, it was quiet. And in that moment, I just was kind of like regretting it. I was like, yo, I don't know if we should have did this. You know, I hope old boy be cool. You know, he get up, start putting on his jacket and all that stuff. And I'm like, oh, you about to go? He like, yeah, I'm about to be out. And I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? I see you, you know what I'm saying? Next time you come through, trying to keep everything just regular. You know, before he left out the room, he stopped at the door and was like, you know, I ain't on no gay shit, though. <laughs> and me, I'm like, nigga, I ain't either. You know what I'm saying? Like, we cool? Yeah, all right? He like, yeah, you know. I'm like, all right, man, I'll holla at you. So, you know, we walking out the door. And this is where it turns a little sketchy. We walking out the door, my cousin, who stayed with us, comes in. She had just started staying with us. I don't know if he's seen her before. Um, she was like a sister to me because she stayed with us off and on at times. She comes in and she like, you know, Ali, what y'all doing? I'm like, nah, we was just listening to music, chilling, smoking. She was like, oh, okay, you know. He starts flirting with my cousin. Like, hey, what's up? You know, and she like, hey, you know. Now, she's a year older than me. And he was probably a couple years younger than me. And um, he like, what's up? What's your name? She tell him her name and all of that. He like, oh, you pretty? She was like, thank you, you know, and I'm like, really, this nigga, you know, flirting with my cousin right after, you know, I didn't, uh, 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 where this Willie? So I'm just like, okay, you know, it ain't nothing. So we walked through the kitchen, down the stairs, and he like, you know, who was that? And I'm like, Oh, that's my cousin, you know what I'm saying? He was like, she bad. And I was like, yeah, you know, runs in the family. You know what I'm saying? And he like, oh, I'm going to get that. And I was like, <laughs> are you tripping? He was like, yeah, all right, you know. And I was like, okay. So, you know, that was that. He left, you know, came back over probably sometime next week. When he came back, I was happy to see him. Like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I was happy that he came back through. Everything seemed normal. We ain't speak of nothing we did, but you know, my cousin is there and he's flirting with her again. You know, just what's up? Like, you know, when I'm gonna let when you gonna let me take you out and this and that, and I'm just like and she like, you know, laughing and smiling and you know, and I could tell that she was liking him. And I'm like, yo, you know, so I Rush him off to the room like, you know, we smoke and do whatever we usually do. Listen to music and stuff like that. He leaves. You know, my cousin comes to me and she was like, oh, that's your friend? And I'm like, yeah, that's my homeboy or whatever. She like, he cute. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I was like, you like him? She was like, he too young for me, but I do think he cute. And I was like, okay. You know, so time and time goes on, maybe a couple weeks later, he constantly, every time he come over and he see her, they flirting and going back and forth with each other. And I just don't know how to feel about it, you know? But I'm just like, I'm gonna just let it, maybe it's just innocent flirting. It ain't gonna turn into nothing. One day, I come home and she getting dressed, doing her hair, coming in and out of the bathroom and you know, I knew whenever she was about to go somewhere, she made sure she was looking extra fine. I'm like, where you about to go? 
She's like, oh, I'm about to go on a date with your boy. Hmm? I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, you know, I was like, I thought you said he was too young. She was like, I know, boy, we ain't about to do nothing, but you know, we just about to go out. He said he gonna take me to the movies and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, you know, in my mind, I was just like, nah, you know, I didn't want to, I'm not the type of person that's gonna out somebody ever, especially after messing around with them and things like that. It was like, I don't like people who do that. So I wasn't about to tell my cousin, like, you know, me and him messed around and you know, my cousin knew about me, but she didn't automatically, nobody in my family automatically assumed that anybody that I hang out with mess around because I had a lot of straight friends. I mean, people that I did music with and everything, I actually didn't have no gay friends. All my friends were straight. All of them were rappers and things like that. So they assuming that the person is just straight and just seeing her so excited to go on this date it was just like i went in the room and i was like nah you know i can't let this happen so i you know put on my shoes and i run out and i'm like i go to his crib now i had never been to his crib only time i've been to his crib was walking past you know, walking him in the hood and he about to be, I'm about to go in the house and I seen where he lived, but I knew he lived upstairs. I seen him go in the door. I went up nervous cause I never been to this dude crib. I run up in his crib, knock on his door and I ask, his mama comes to the door and I ask if he there, she like, no, he ain't here. And I'm like, you know, when they'll be back, she was like, I don't know. He, he went outside or something. So I'm running all through the hood looking for him. You know, going to the corner store, going around, you know, a couple of other friends' houses that we knew and things like that. I finally run into him. And I'm like, yo, what's up? And he like, what's up? I'm like, you and my cousin about to go out? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, nah. He was like, uh, why not? And I was like, why not? Bro, like, come on, man, let's not let's not do this. He was like, no, tell me why not. And I was like, bro, you not about to go out with my cousin. Like, after, you know what I'm saying? Like, I messed, the, like, we messed around. He was like, nah, I told you I wasn't on that shit like that. And I was like, it don't matter, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that don't matter, man. I'm not about to let you go out with my cousin. He was like, see, that's why I ain't want to do it because you on some funny stuff. And I was like, it ain't got nothing to do with no funny stuff, bro. But it's like, you think I'm actually about to let you go on a date with my cousin? Like, no. I was like, he was like, man, we going on a date. Like, what you going to do? And I was like, bro, like, if you go on a date with my cousin, it's going to be some problems. He was like, what you going to do? And I was like... You don't really want to see. He was like, what you going to do? Tell niggas that we messed around or something? He was like, I'll tell niggas you lie. He was like, I got respect around. Ain't nobody going to believe that. And I was like, it ain't about telling nobody that, that you mess around, bro. I was like, we going to have to, you know, we going to have to knuckle up. He was like, oh, so you want to fight me because I'm going out on a date? And I was like, bro, if you show up at my house to take my cousin out on a date, we going to knuckle up flat out you know what I'm saying and he was like yo you tripping I was like nah nigga you tripping you know it and I was like don't come don't come to my crib like don't show up to my crib like don't try to stop trying to holler at my cousin see at first I thought y'all was just playing and it was just innocent flirting but now you trying to take her out no no it ain't gonna happen no and um I threatened him I was like you come to my crib I'm a I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you, bro. Like, for real. You know, he was like, yo, you wild. And I was like, okay, try to see. So I leave and go back to the crib. She's still getting dressed. And she was like, where you go? I was like, oh, I just went to the store to get some shells or whatever. And um, I'm waiting, you know, sitting around. She waiting. You know, she like, where this boy at? And I'm like, I don't know. She was like, call your friend, see what I was like, you know. 
acted like I called her. I was like, he ain't answering my call, you know. Um, she sat around and waited and waited, and he never showed up. And um, he stood her up. <laughs> And she was venting to me like, see, that's why I don't be messing around with your friends and this and then I was like, I don't know, maybe he got arrested or something came up, you know, and she was like, uh-uh, I ain't messing. And I was like, it's just a crazy situation, man. You know, I'm not, like I say, I'm not the type of person to try to out somebody. I wouldn't have never did that. But what would you do in a situation like this? I mean... You know what happened between y'all. You know, your cousin is liking this person. And you just don't know what could happen. I know he probably would have tried to make a pass out of kiss to mess the brown finger. To, I, don't, I don't know. You know, it, it was just, it just couldn't happen. And it, it wasn't because I wanted him, you know, or I had feelings for him or anything like that. It was just because I just, out of respect, like I know my cousin wouldn't want to, go on a date or talk to somebody that I messed around with, you know, and dealing with a DL person was like, I can't out you. I don't want to tell my cousin your business, but you, you overstepping your boundaries, bro. You crossed the line when you actually tried to take her out. Now the flirting and all of that. Okay. I got past that, but you should have left it at that. You know, uh, I mean, he used to bring her weed over and, you know, do all types of stuff. And, and I was cool with all that. But it definitely crossed the line. I just wanted to talk to y'all to see what you would do, you know. And this is my thing, man. Um, you just got to be careful with these DL situations and things like that, man. People that's not secure with themselves. I would have never, you know, thought that would happen. And in retrospect, I regret that I even told him or even let that happen because it was like, I missed my homeboy. You know, we was really cool. I missed having somebody to just talk to, you know, uh, just listen to my music and, you know, just to chill and smoke with, you know, sometimes when you tell people about yourself, it changes the situation. You know, it may make them uncomfortable or make them start thinking things. Maybe I shouldn't have never even told him. And I was thinking, you know, we cool enough that I could tell him what it is and we'll still be cool. You know, sometimes you just got to accept people for what they are in your life. You know, maybe they ain't your best friend. Maybe they don't know everything about you, but you can appreciate the things that they do. Maybe y'all could you know, hang out and talk, but it's not the person that you really want to get into deep conversation with, or it's not the person that you can loan money to or borrow money to. And you might have some friends that you can't tell them things because you know, they run their mouth, you know, and the whole thing with straight people being friends with gay people, man, I just think it's a thin line. And even, you know, straight men being friends with women, you know, if you really want somebody to be your friend, you can't cross those lines, you know, because it just makes the situation messy and sticky. You know, gay people can absolutely be friends with straight people, but it's just like, even if your friend's sexy or handsome or you attracted to them, they might be an attractive person, doesn't mean that you have to take it there. Sometimes it's just best to just leave it as friends, you know. And even if they try, you know, sometimes they be knowing what they doing, you know, getting in, in, uh, dressed in front of you or, you know, doing little things uh, to tease you because they know that's what you're attracted to. Just shut it down. You know, like, nah, I ain't here for that. You know, every opportunity to have a sexual, you know, experience ain't for you to take. You know. Just leave it alone. Now, in this case, if he a DL person or, you know, I'm glad I saved my cousin from it. But it's just like I did miss having my friend. Like, he didn't come around no more. Um, I seen him in the hood. You know, he had just walked past me and act funny. And, you know, my cousin even asked on a couple occasions, like, what happened to your boy? I, you know, I said, I don't know. Maybe he in jail, you know. Just value your friendships, man. 
you know, even if it ain't a friendship where they know every single thing about you, you know. But if you do have a friend that you can tell everything about you, they know about your sexuality and things like that, and they still cool with it, don't cross the line. Don't be trying to make a pass at them when they get drunk or, you know, making them feel uncomfortable, you know, saying sexy things about them and throwing hints and things like that. If they doing that to you, shut it down. Leave it as a friend because it's hard to come by nowadays. It was a crazy story time, you know, a short story time. It didn't get wild and reckless. Thank you for that. But it was a lesson to be learned. You know, I shouldn't have took the bait, you know, and true enough, I was tired of, you know, the whole girl conversations and him asking me what I do and who I'm with and things like that. I thought that it would be OK to tell him, but it just turned real messy. And uh, yeah, just be careful out there when you're dealing with these DL people, man, because the emotional attachment ain't there. And sometimes they would do everything in their power to let you know, yo, I'm still straight. You know, we messed around, but I'm still out here. I'm still going to be fucking these bitches, even if they trying to hit somebody in your family. Nah, you know, but... Leave a comment in the comment section, man. Let me know what you would do. Let me know if I handled it right or, you know, what would you would have did if that was your homeboy? You know, shout out to all my new subscribers, man. My new cousins. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Y'all don't know, man, I do these story times all the time, you know, but uh, just giving a little piece of myself. So, you know, hopefully... Somebody can learn something from it. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. I hope y'all being safe. I hope y'all be in prayer, man. And let's continue to grow the channel, man. You know what I'm saying? Triple plug, we lit. I'll let your boy on the next one, man. I'm out.